Hello everyone, today I'll be showing you on how to use our new response manager feature for Choice Eliminator for Google Forms. So starting off, I've created my own Google Form, which is called School Club Meeting, and I've created a question for each of the options. So this one uses multiple choice, this one uses checkboxes, then there is multiple choice grid, and then checkbox grid. And you can use any of these when you're using our response manager feature. And then I went ahead and added a limit for each of these questions. And if you want to use our feature, you want to make sure in settings you turn on allow response editing in order to be able to use a response manager feature now in order to edit the responses you need to have responses themselves so i'm going to create three different responses and for three different emails so this is one this one's going to be test at gmail.com and what's really useful about response editing is that for example let's say for a dentist appointment a client chooses a time which they ac maybe accidentally chose or they thought of like a different time last second. Once they hit on submit, there is an option to edit their response. But if they can't access the form, but if they lost the form link, you can send them the link again, which then they can use to edit the response themselves. And in some cases for like an appointment, a client might submit a form and then later on after they have submitted it, they might want to change the time and they might contact the admin who's going to be you and ask you specifically to change their time. And this is where our uh, feature comes in real handy. So right now I have three responses made for three different emails. In order to use our feature, you want to go to choice eliminator and then click on response manager. From here, you, you'll see this window right here, and this is where all of your responses are gonna be recorded. So here's, here's all the information about each response. So over here, we got the date, the time, the email, and the what, time, uh, what option they chose themselves. So what you can do is you can look at the responses themselves through the Google form. So if you click on the I symbol, you'll be able to see the form itself, the email that they put, the timestamp, and what options they chose you can also delete the response itself but what's really useful is the search field if you have a, a lot of responses and you're trying to narrow down on a specific response you can click on select search field and you can see there's one for the options themselves like checkbox grid, which is one of my questions friday wednesday and then you can use email and timestamp uh, to narrow down each uh, response itself. So if I were to choose email and I were to write down one of the emails I wrote, test at gmail.com, it's only going to show the responses made by that email. And the same goes for the timestamp and for the rest of the options. And then you can also delete the responses. So if I were to take test at gmail.com and then if I were to delete that response, the responses, the response they made will go down because you have technically deleted the response. And for example, over here, I just deleted one of the responses. And if I were to refresh, as you can see, one of the options reached their limit. But since I deleted the response, it's back. And if you want to edit the response, you, you can just click on the pencil icon. And from here, it just takes you to this window and you can change the responses themselves. So I'm going to change it back to this. And I'm going to click on submit. And once I have done that, it's going to change the responses. So let's refresh this again. As you can see, this went up. This reached this limit because I changed my response to that. 